Hey guys, just got the Kraken G10 uh, installed on the R9-290X. Um, I'm sure a lot of people getting this are going to be using it on the R9s. So here it is installed on the R9. Turn on the computer and uh, the temperatures are really great. Um, I'll get into the VRM cooling, which is the issue with this, um, with this uh, bracket. It has a fan over the VRMs, but I, it's still not enough to cool it when you start overclocking the card, especially when you start to put more voltage into the GPU. Anything above the stock is uh, definitely not recommended. Um, the graphics card, the core, stays cool. Idle's at about 32 degrees. Full load is about um, anywhere from 42 to about 50 degrees, which is much, much better. And this is with a... Um, in a push-pull configuration the Kraken X40 is installed in a push-pull configuration the fans are spinning at about very quiet at about 800 to 900 RPM and uh, they stay about 32 uh, degrees idle and uh, mid 40s in the load for the most time so there's a full system At the NZXT Sentry 2 fan controller looks pretty cool. You can change through different set of colors. So let me show you the temperatures. As of right now, it's sitting at uh, 31 degrees idle. And that's where it stays most of the time. I left it on for about an hour, and uh, it didn't go above 32. So that's where it stays. The VRM stay very, very cool during idle 30, uh, 26 for one and 34 for the other let me run a benchmark for you Alright, I have the clock set at um, plus 100 for the voltage, 50 plus for the power limit, 1200 for core, and 1350 for memory. I have GPU-Z open so we can monitor the, the VRM temperatures. As you can see at idle, they're pretty good. Uh, 26 and 35. It stays really, really cool. And... Uh, the core is at 31, 32. It doesn't go above 32. So here's Valley. I'm going to run it in uh, Windows mode at 1920 by 1080 because my, uh, my test bench screen is only a 19 inch, uh, 1440 by 900. It's uh, just to work on computers. So here we go. Got to uh, for, I had forgotten to click the apply on the overclock. As you can see, the clock's lower because um, I think it's because of the VRM. I'm not sure.
Sorry guys, somebody had came in. As you can see, the VRM temperature is at 91 Celsius. The other one is at 73. So while this does keep the core at 55, um, you're still at 91 degrees for the VRM, which is uh, pretty high, 91, 92. Um, and as you can see, the R9, 290, most of them have this annoying coil line. I don't know if you can hear it. All right, let's stop this. Good product, but if you're going to be using this with the R9 290, you're definitely going to need to cool the VRMs a little bit better because this fan um, doesn't do a good job of cooling the VRMs. And they come back down really quick in temperature. It's already shot down to 66. As you can see, the slope is coming down really, really fast. So, And the core is not even warm. It's just, you know, the VRM. So just worry about cooling the VRM if you are going to use this. Invest another 10 or 15 bucks in the, the Arctic cooling. Uh, they have these little, um, little VRM heat sinks. Actually have some. Uh, give me one second. Let me grab it. You're going to need to get something like this. Uh, for the VRMs, these will work perfect. Three of these will do the job. Um, you can get some uh, Arctic alumina thermal paste uh, slash adhesive. It'll stick these right on and they won't come off. And you can use these little ones for the uh, for VRM number two up here. These guys right here. That one right there. The, um, I believe that's the VRM for the memory. Uh, you can cool the memory as well if you, uh, you know, if you want to get some extra heat sinks. The memory does get warm, but it's not as, uh, not as warm as uh, the VRM. These guys down here. Yeah. So. Good idea, good product, but um, I wish they included the little VRM heat sinks because, especially for the 290, you're definitely going to need them. So that's it, guys. If you guys have any questions, just post. I'll respond. And um, yeah, let me know if you like the video or not. Thanks.